Our featured car this week is a 1970 Dodge Super B 446 pack in top banana yellow. Do you know why they call these the Super B? The late 60s and early 70s were a wild time. I mean, you still had the psychedelic influence in music. Uh, you know, lots of bright colors and, and in-your-face design, and it's obvious in the muscle cars of the era. And we're looking at this 1970 Super B. It's painted in this bright top banana yellow color with a white interior and a white stripe on the back. I mean, it's about as in-your-face as you can get, and it's characteristic of what was going on back then. And these cars, you know, back then, they had very specific branding. Today, cars, you know, they have a name and a style, but at this point, uh, you know, by 1970, especially the Mopars, they all had kind of a story that went with them. The story on the Super B is that it came out after the Plymouth Roadrunner, but it shares the same platform. And the Plymouth Roadrunner was wildly successful. And again, it's, it's got its own persona, the Roadrunner cartoon character and all that jazz. Uh, and Dodge wanted their own version of the Roadrunner. So they looked at the Coronet platform and internally kind of came up with a persona for the car. And they designed the Super B name and the Super B logo, uh, which again, it's a, it's a B with his goggles and his helmet and his you know pipes and big tires and everything. And that came from an earlier design uh, for the Dodge Scat Pack. And the Scat Pack started in 1968 and it was kind of a branding for all of the super hot Dodge muscle cars. They grouped them all together in a group and called them the Scat Pack. So it was the Charger and Challenger and the Dart GTS and now the Super B joined the Scat Pack as well. And where this Scat Pack B came from was the stripe design. Uh, Dodge had put a, a tail stripe around the back of the car that became known as the Bumblebee. So the Bumblebee stripe uh, morphed into the Scat Pack logo, which morphed into the Super B logo itself. So again, this cartoon character kind of thing was really, really prevalent. On this particular car, it's kind of neat because the yellow on the Super B is almost a dead match for the top banana yellow on the car. And if you look closely, his goggles are these uh, kind of oblong openings, which I always thought matched the headlight openings in the grill. But Mopar's uh, uh, documentation claims that the grill openings were actually B wings. And the Scat Pack was kind of cool because back then it was a club you could join through your local Dodge dealer and you got a newsletter and a membership card and a sticker, but you also got the Dodge Direct Connection High Performance Parts Catalog for free. And there were what they called Scat Packages uh, that involved putting certain parts together for sale to make your scat pack car go even faster. There was one kit called the Showboat Kit, which was a, a bunch of dress-up items. Uh, they had one called Readout, which was a gauge package. They had the Cruncher Drag and Street Strip package. Uh, the B-Lever Kit, which was a manifold carb cam and headers. Uh, and then the Top Eliminator Kit, which was the six-pack intake manifold and carburetors and an electronic ignition. Super bitchin'. And our car came from the factory with the six pack, but you could get any 440 and go get a um, top eliminator kit from your local Dodge dealer and be part of the scat pack. Then you're a cool guy. Under the hood is where all the action happens. You've got a, a 440 cubic inch V8 making 390 horsepower, and it's being fed by the fabled six pack, three two barrel carburetor setup underneath that big oval air filter unit and stuck to the hood is the Ram Charger air intake system. And this is more than just a big plastic box here. I think it's fiberglass, but it's, uh, it's got a cable actuated door system on both sides that opens in here, allowing fresh air to come in from the scoops mounted on the hood. And there's a controller under the dash, a red knob that says carb air, and that's what opened up these doors and let this thing breathe. It's kind of funny to think that they branded almost everything in the car. I mean, this was a 446 pack, so the six pack was a brand. It has a Ram Charger air intake system through the hood. The dual scoops that forced air into the engine was the Ram Charger branded 
you know, everything had a brand name. Was, you think there's a lot of branding now, but this whole car's covered in them. Super big. The 446 pack engine made 390 horsepower and 490 foot pounds of torque. So it was able to push this big sled to uh, quarter mile times around 13.8, uh, zero to 60 times in the high six second range. Uh, and so these things really moved out. I guess the real top banana Super B was the 426 Hemi version, uh, but this one was almost as fast with the 440 and about 30% less money. So they sold many more 440s than Hemis, uh, but this thing certainly moves out on its own. Inside, the B is a very comfortable car. It's a, it's a good sized car. This one's got a really clean white interior with bucket seats. Uh, interestingly, there's no console, but there is the pistol grip shifter. Uh, it's a Hurst shifter with the pistol grip handle on it that is one of the, it's one of the greatest shifters in any muscle car ever, or any car for that matter. I mean, you get in this thing and you just want to power through the gears. Very, very cool. Uh, you've got a 150 mile an hour speedo. You've got the uh, clock and tack combination. Uh, an array of gauges, fuel temp, oil pressure, an alternator. There's an oil pressure idiot light at the bottom of the dash just in case. So it's a, a cool car to be in, a styled steering wheel. Um, it's something that you could drive every day and be comfortable with, but when it comes time to go fast, you know, it's got the goods. Super boxy. So these cars aren't incredibly rare. Uh, there was uh, 15,500 and some Super Bs made. This one is a hard top, which means the windows go down and there's no pillar. And hard top 440 six pack four speed cars, they made uh, about 599, I think, just shy of 600. And this one being the you know bright yellow color with the white interior, it's certainly a car that would turn heads at any car show or drag strip you take it to. Well, my vote is for super bad, but the real reason they call it a super B is because this was a B body Dodge, and it's super. If you want to see more pictures of it, you can check out our website at musclecaroftheweek.com. We also have a Facebook page. We'll have more details, and you have the option to share this with your other super B loving buddies. And then uh, we've got a YouTube channel where you can subscribe and never miss an episode of Muscle Car of the Week. Super banana.